Tesla might scale up battery cell production line close to Fremont factory. Tesla's Skunk Works Lab for its custom battery cell pilot production line is growing. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel, ring the notification bell, and let's get started. But before we get started, I'm joined today with my little helper, my eight-year-old daughter, Mariam, who has been featured in my channel sometimes, and she wants to say hi before we get started. Good morning, everyone. I am Mariam Haryan, and I'm going to be sitting with my dad here today thank you so tesla battery day is an incredibly important event for fans of the company and supporters of tesla for all electric car manufacturers and for the battery industry in general the california auto manufacturers has teased us for a long time that this event will be very important since it may may possibly present a million mile battery but it seems that Tesla will present us something bigger, something that will change our perception, the cell production system. Tesla CEO Elon Musk announced yesterday via Twitter that Battery Day and the annual shareholder meeting are expected to be held on September 15. He also said that this meeting will include a tour of cell production system cell production system wow that's already sounding interesting in addition musk confirmed that the event would definitely be held in fremont this information hints that tesla has a cell production system in fremont battery cell production system we previously heard that company employees are doing battery research at the skunk works lab at the cattle road um, cattle road plant a few months from its car plant in fremont california according to reports tesla research teams are currently focusing on the development and the prototype uh, prototyping of advanced lithium ion batteries as well as new equipment and processes that can allow tesla to produce cells in high volumes previously news broke that tesla had signed a contract for battery formation equipment from south korea's hanwha group on april 20th the news further supports the idea of a manufacturing line for battery cell production at the Fremont factory. In May, Tesla posted three new jobs for Fremont factory. The Fremont factory has hired a cell engineer for cell physics modeling, as well as production process engineer, a control and controls engineer for Tesla's pilot line cell manufacturing. At that time, Many assumed that the company had a pilot line for the production of batteries, but recent data shows that Tesla is already on the way to having a full-fledged production line that will be ready to produce battery cells on a large scale. In addition to hints from Musk, agreements on the purchase of equipment and the hiring employees, there are other facts confirming this. In March 2020, Tesla presented a plan for the reconstruction of the building at Kato Road. According to the new plan, the building was supposed to accommodate more employees than before, namely 45, uh, 45 research and development employees and up to 425 manufacturing employees. Here's a quote. For baseline conditions, the existing site accommodates 300 employees with research and development manufacturing job functions. The project proposes to redevelop the existing site by adding floors to the 47,700 Kato Road buildings. The redeveloped site will accommodate the following employees and job functions, 45 research and development employees and up to 425 manufacturing employees spread over several shifts Monday through Friday. Today, Tesla enthusiast JPR007 on Twitter published a document in which PG&E approves Tesla's application for an increase in power consumption by 6 megawatt. Based on the requested capacity, JPR007 assumes that it looks like part of a natural progression toward commercial scale cell production at the Kato Road building. 
based on information from energy use for gigawatt hour scale lithium ion battery production he calculated that such a line could produce about 13,000 batteries for model 3 and model y here's a quote a 6 megawatt supply provides 6,000 kilowatt hour of energy per hour of operation this would support 10, uh, 100 kilowatt hour of cell production per hour of operation. 100 kilowatt hour times 24 times 7 times 50 equals 840 megawatt hour of cell production per year, and that equals 0 0.84 gigawatt hour per year on a seven uh, seven day uh, seven days a week 24 50 operation schedule, which equals about 13,000 Model Y and Model 3 units. Friends, these calculations are not the limit for Tesla. Since the new Tesla processes patented recently can be much more energy efficient than existing ones, therefore, production speeds can be much higher than expected. Battery day will surely be very informative and we will learn a lot of stunning information that will surely forever change the production of battery cells. Now, what is the mysterious skunk for club? Initial leaks and reports about the Tesla's mysterious Skunk Works lab were posted as early as June 2019 with a CNBC article stating that the facility is located at Gato Road just a few minutes away from the Fremont factory where the Model S, Model 3, Model X and Model Y are built. Citing former and current Tesla employees, the news agency stated that Tesla's R&D teams were focused on prototyping and designing advanced lithium-ion batteries as well as new equipment and processes that could usher in the mass production of the next generation battery cells by Tesla. These batteries are now widely speculated to be the million mile battery that has been mentioned by the company. The million mile battery is a significant part of Tesla's game plan, being the one of defining factor that could help electric vehicles achieve price parity with gas powered cars and allow battery storage devices to last decades when deployed. Amidst the wait for battery day, speculations are abounding that Tesla will be conducting a deep dive into its million mile batteries during the event similar to how autonomy day included an in-depth discussion on the company's custom hardware 3.0 computer as it turns out tesla's skunk works lab at gato road has been very busy this year a proposal submitted last March, for example, outlines plans to redevelop the existing site by adding floors to the facility. According to Tesla, the redesigned building will be housing, like I said a little bit ago, 45 research and development employees and up to 425 manufacturing workers that are spread through several shifts from Monday through Friday. This appears to suggest that the company, Tesla, as early as March this year, was looking to ramp the battery cell output of its pilot production. Interestingly enough, Tesla has also been posting multiple job listings, new job listings on its career page that were specifically focused on battery cell manufacturing. By May 2020, Tesla has posted job listings for cell engineers, production process engineers and controls engineers all for, all for battery work. A look at these listings would show references to a battery cell manufacturing operations and does um, uh, and uh, it post listed Fremont uh, and it's which actually what is interesting it's going to be in Fremont California as their location it seems that the location in Fremont is going to rise in preeminence again once was uh, by uh, told by Elon Musk that he would shut down possibly move Fremont and headquarters to uh, Texas but it looks like Fremont is becoming again more important and this is a factory where Tesla is making cars so based on these filings and job listings that I just mentioned, it is evident that Tesla's pilot battery cell manufacturing line has been ramping, or at least is poised to ramp, to grow its operations. This is particularly impressive considering that the Gato Road facility, which reportedly hosts the company's Skunk Works lab, is a very small site comprising of two buildings that cover 184,880 square feet combined. This means 
that even in this relatively small location, Tesla has been able to create a pilot line for a new breed of Tesla batteries that can change the electric vehicle game. This is quite a significant accomplishment considering that previous battery lines are known to consume a lot of space. Tesla's Gigafactory Nevada facility is the perfect example of this. Giga Nevada primarily produces battery cells and it is poised to be one of the largest buildings in the world by footprint once it's complete. If Tesla's pilot battery cell production line in Kato Road is indeed fully functional and ramped, then one can only imagine how much more battery facilities like Gigafactory Nevada can produce with the company's next generation technology. Friends, I don't know we should doubt that I, I don't know we should doubt that Tesla is I don't think we should doubt that Tesla is developing its own batteries now. And I'm looking forward to possibly seeing this revealed on Tesla Battery Day on September 15. I'm just wondering if the first production application will be in the Plaid Model S. Top of the line vehicles should go the best of everything as the current flagship for the brand and it would be in limited enough production numbers to potentially be able to be served by a smaller battery production line. And the logistics of getting those special new batteries to the Fremont line just for the small run of Plaid Model S cars would be a great test application of that technology. What about you? In which cars do you think Tesla will first use its own batteries? Let us know in the comments section below. And before I go, my little daughter has something to ask. Let me see. Um, please subscribe and hit the like button so you, and turn on your notifications so you can be notified every time my dad posts a new video. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate that greatly. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Take good care of your families, and I'll see you in our next report. God bless you, everyone. Bye.